Building a bridge is a complex task. Building a bridge underwater is even harder. You are dealing with strong currents, limited visibility, and immense water pressure. All of these factors make underwater construction a challenging and potentially dangerous field. One of the most common tasks in underwater bridge construction is building bridge piers. These are the underwater supports that hold up the bridge deck. Building a pier requires careful planning and execution to ensure its stability and strength. Imagine trying to build a tower on the bottom of a lake. You can't just pour concrete directly into the water. The concrete would disperse and weaken the structure. You need a way to create a dry working environment. That is where cofferdams come in. A cofferdam is a temporary enclosure built around the construction site. It allows engineers to pump out the water and work in a dry environment. Think of it as a giant bathtub turned upside down. Cofferdams are typically made of steel sheet piles. These are long, interlocking sheets of steel that are driven into the seabed. The interlocking mechanism creates a watertight barrier. Once the sheet piles are in place, pumps remove the water from inside the cofferdam. This creates a dry working environment where construction can proceed as if it were on land. Building a cofferdam is a critical step in underwater construction. It allows engineers to work safely and efficiently. Building a cofferdam is like assembling a giant jigsaw puzzle underwater, where each piece must fit perfectly to ensure stability and safety. It starts with driving guide piles into the seabed, which serve as the foundational markers for the entire structure. These piles act as markers, guiding the installation of the sheet piles, ensuring they are placed accurately and securely. Next, a pile driving hammer slams the interlocking sheet piles into the soil with immense force. Imagine a giant hammer repeatedly hitting a metal sheet, the vibration sinking it deeper into the ground, much like driving a nail into wood. This process continues until the sheet piles reach a stable depth, often into the bedrock, providing a solid foundation. But it's not just brute force. Precision and planning are equally important. Engineers use a clever technique called vibration to help the sheet piles penetrate the soil more efficiently. Counter-rotating weights inside the hammer generate vibrations that reduce friction, allowing the piles to slide deeper with less resistance, making the process smoother. Once all the sheet piles are in place and interlocked, the cofferdam forms a sealed enclosure, creating a barrier against water. The water inside is pumped out, revealing a dry worksite ready for the next stage of construction, allowing workers to proceed with building in a controlled environment. Section 4. The Importance of Geotechnical Surveys Before even thinking about building the cofferdam, engineers conduct thorough geotechnical surveys. These surveys are the foundation of any successful construction project, especially those involving water bodies. These surveys are like x-rays of the seabed, revealing its composition, strength, and potential hazards. They help engineers understand the underwater environment in great detail. One crucial test is the cone penetration test, which provides essential data about the soil. Imagine pushing a cone-shaped probe into the ground. This probe is equipped with sensors that measure various parameters. Sensors on the probe measure the resistance it encounters, providing valuable data about the soil's strength and density. This data is crucial for making informed decisions. This information is crucial for determining the depth and strength required for the sheet piles. Without it, the construction could face significant risks. It's like choosing the right foundation for a house, ensuring it can withstand the weight and pressure from above. A strong foundation is key to a stable structure. Geotechnical surveys are essential for avoiding costly mistakes and ensuring the long-term stability of the bridge pier. They help prevent future issues that could arise from unforeseen ground conditions. They provide engineers with the knowledge they need to design a safe and robust cofferdam. This ensures the structure can withstand environmental challenges and remain durable over time. Section 5. Keeping the water out, managing leakage. Even with the tightest seals, water leakage is a constant concern in cofferdam construction. The pressure difference between the dry interior and the surrounding water can force water through even the smallest gaps. To combat this, engineers often employ a double-layered sheet pile system. Think of it like a sandwich, two layers of sheet piles with a filling of granular material in between. This filling, usually sand or gravel, acts as an additional barrier, absorbing and redirecting water pressure. Regular inspections and maintenance are crucial for identifying and addressing any leaks that may occur. 
Even a small leak, if ignored, can undermine the integrity of the cofferdam, jeopardizing the entire construction project. Section 6. The Fatal Mistake – A Lack of Support Imagine the cofferdam is complete, the water is pumped out, and the construction of the bridge pier is about to begin. The site is bustling with activity, and the workers are ready to proceed with the next phase of the project. Everything seems to be going according to plan, the team is confident, and the project appears to be on track. But there's a fatal flaw, a mistake that could lead to catastrophic consequences, a small oversight that could spell disaster. The chief construction engineer, in a rush to meet deadlines and under pressure to cut costs, made a critical error. He overlooked a crucial element in the design. He neglected to incorporate a bracing frame structure within the cofferdam. This omission would prove to be a grave mistake. This structure, consisting of sturdy beams, struts, and braces, is essential for counteracting the immense inward pressure exerted by the surrounding water. Without these supports, the integrity of the cofferdam is severely compromised. Without it, the cofferdam is like a house of cards waiting to collapse. The stability of the entire construction site is at risk. As the construction crew celebrates their dry work site, the cofferdam groans under the relentless pressure. The workers are unaware of the impending danger. The sheet piles buckle and bend inwards, unable to withstand the force. The structure begins to fail and the situation quickly escalates. The once dry work site is swallowed by a torrent of water, washing away weeks of work and putting lives at risk. The consequences of the oversight are immediate and devastating. Section 7. Lessons Learned, Prevention and Innovation The collapse of the cofferdam serves as a stark reminder of the importance of thorough planning, rigorous safety standards, and a healthy respect for the unforgiving nature of underwater construction. The mistake of overlooking the bracing frame structure highlights a crucial lesson. Every element in engineering design serves a purpose, and neglecting even the smallest detail can have disastrous consequences. Moving forward, this incident will serve as a case study for aspiring engineers, emphasizing the importance of structural integrity, meticulous calculations, and a safety-first approach. It underscores the need for continuous innovation in underwater construction techniques and materials. By learning from past mistakes and embracing new technologies, we can push the boundaries of underwater construction while ensuring the safety of those who work tirelessly beneath the waves.